I was recently a friend of ours who likes to, to do sports, to go out running. He came and he personally gave to me a, a pair of trainers, very good ones, a uh, very good make and they cost quite a bit. Like they were ever very good, very good quality, let's say. For those who like to go running, they're one of the best, let's say. He, the, they didn't serve him, he wasn't using them anymore. He had acquired another pair which were more suitable for him, um, for his needs. So he decided to get rid of them and he, and he gave them to me. Uh, the only thing is I'm, I'm a religious, I have a vow of poverty, so that kind of checked upon my interest and desire to have these trainers for myself. I would love to use them and, you know, to, to possess them and to, to, to use them because I like to go out running. That's why the, the priest, it was, a, it was a priest friend of ours who gave them to me. Uh, so that kind of desire just to want them for myself and hide them away so no other brother could use them uh, and I could just have them for myself. That's called avarice. Avarice. No, uh, a disordered or immoderate, irrational desire for money or possessions. Uh, that's what avarice is. An immoderate or irrational desire for money or possessions. Now, it was immoderate and irrational for me if I were to start thinking upon. I mean, the temptation was there to have these trainers for myself, but it, that is immoderate. It's out of, um, let's say, out of measure because I already have a pair of trainers. They're not as good as these ones, so it would be immoderate of me. And it's irrational. I have a vow of poverty. One, I don't need them, and two, uh, things aren't mine to possess for myself. Now, we see that immoderate desire, irrational desire to possess for oneself in the gospel. Today, Jesus speaks of these tenants who uh, the vineyard was leased to them. It, it, they don't, it doesn't even belong to them. And they are to serve and work for the master, the owner, the landowner of the vineyard, and to produce the fruit and to give uh, the produce to the master uh, at the right season. What happens? The master sends his servants to, to collect the produce and the tenants don't hand it over. They keep the produce for themselves. That is avarice. Uh, they want all for themselves. Now, we can easily fall into that. St. Francis of Sales says, avarice can be seen in those pe persons who, if they ardently desire to possess something, even if they say they wouldn't do anything, let's say, disordinate to acquire it, they wouldn't do anything illicit to acquire it. They wouldn't rob or anything like that to acquire it. But they ardently desire to possess it, then you are avaricious. Or if you are reluctant to let go of something, you can see that you're avaricious if you lose something and you disordinately lose your patience. Then you are avaricious. Yeah. In the first reading, we hear the story of the unfortunate story of Joseph, who was sold into slavery by his own brothers. Now, his own brothers were envious. What is envy? Envy is that uh, irrational sadness for some other's good fortune. Uh, if someone else has something and I mm, irrationally become sad, uh, towards that other good person's fortune. Or a disordinate desire to possess another person's goods is envy as well. Or even, uh, let's say, irrational, 
pleasure taking pleasure in another person's misfortune. That is also envy. So here in the first story of today's reading, today's first reading, we see um, the irrational sadness of Joseph's brothers over the good fortune. Joseph hadn't done any harm to his brothers, but they desired him ill, even had murderous thoughts against him just because the father uh, had a great love towards him and the, 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 he, he gave him, he gave him, no, he gave him a, a love towards him, affection towards him that the others felt that they didn't receive from their own father. So they became envious towards him. Now what is the solution towards both of these vices, envy and avarice? Well, envy, as we just defined it, uh, let's say, is to grieve over another person's fortune. The opposite of that would be to grieve over another person's misfortune. So the opposite of, of envy is to be compassionate, to be merciful. And a few of the brothers of Joseph, after noticing the irrationality of their actions, started to come to reason. Uh, and thinking logically and reasonably, tried to save their brother. So they became compassionate, uh, that is, being merciful. And the other were apt to, to the opposite of avarice is generosity. Uh, generosity, to generously give of one's possessions rather than trying to hold on to them and irrationally desire them. So we can pray for these two virtues today. Uh, in order to grow in our, in our discipleship of Jesus, to be true followers of Jesus, we should be generous and merciful, compassionate towards others. Uh, so we pray to Our Lady to intercede before our Lord that we may grow in these virtues and so become uh, true followers of Christ. Amen.